so I've made it here in Seattle, Washington, and I'm gonna check out this library, Suzalo Library, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, I definitely didn't prepare well with my luggage walking. Like, ah, I got on tights and I'm cold. So I'll just let you guys know what happened. And my brows, I must say, you gotta, you really gotta, you, gotta, you really gotta do you, you know? This is a terrible time for me to be walking because I have no sense of direction. It's so bad. Um, I would have definitely been lost in like the early 1900s for sure because I have no idea where I'm going. But um, that's why I'm a people person and I'm gonna ask a lot of questions and try to figure it out and not look like a weirdo filming for my YouTube channel. <laughs> so it's seeming a little bit difficult to navigate and also roll. Um, but thankfully, uh, I was able to ask someone how to get to the library. My hair is doing its own thing, apparently. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get there. I've been working on not saying um so much, but I am who I am, and <laughs> that's what we have today. Anyway, pray for me, and uh, hopefully, I might get to show you a little bit of Seattle, but it's kind of uh, depressing looking kind of it's like really set like foggy i don't know if you can see there's no sun no sun so one of the things that i look for in new cities that i travel to is how many brown people are there and i think because i went to a conference near here and 99% of the conference was black and brown bodies. And as I walk around Seattle, I'm not seeing a lot of brown people. That's an important thing for me because I am also in the market of looking for other cities to explore and that I can feel comfortable in and finding people that look like me is top priority. So, yeah. Here I am, looking like a straight tourist, but look at this library. Just check that out. It's so nice. It is so nice. Your girl is ready. Let's go. I don't know why they expect me to get my luggage up. Maybe I need to kick it down but we shall see wow look at those lights some kind of ancient magic my friend says it looks like Hogwarts but we'll see in honor of Henry Sassel now. I see what people mean. Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay guys, this is a great library. I'm trying to whisper because people are studying, people go here, you know. The University of Washington, not bad. Going in, it does give you a Harry Potter feel, a feel um, and from the outside, and the staircase, the architecture inside of it. But once you come to like the books, it's pretty, it's pretty modern. Um, but overall, I'm starting to regret why I spent my undergrad, PhD. Maybe I don't know if any of you guys believe in coincidence. But every time 
I come to a library and I go, oh, I'll go down the aisle. Let's see what's on it. I don't know if you can read that, but it's always related to Stalin or Ukraine or something that has a historical significance of mass genocides. And I think it's because unconsciously and subconsciously, since I spent so much time in Eastern Europe, that my like my mind just gravitate to those areas which is it's it's a lot of things i'll just leave it at that